In 2016, explorers in Cancun were swimming in a cenote, a natural sinkhole that's formed when bedrock limestone collapses and deep pits of water are created, when they said that someone swam by them. At first, they mistook it for a fellow explorer and diver, but upon further inspection into the cave, they saw that it was a mermaid. Luckily, they had body cameras to capture the majestic creature. This is fitting because some believers have long thought that caves would be the perfect home or hiding place for mermaids, and allegedly experts who have analyzed the footage claim that it hasn't been edited in any way whatsoever. Number 9. Iceland In 2013, researchers filming inside of a submarine off the coast of Iceland were stunned when they were about 3,000 feet below the ocean's surface. They would capture footage of a glowing, webbed hand that was pressing up against the glass of their vessel. Dr. Torsten Schmidt was the lead marine biologist on that mission. Schmidt said that when he saw the mermaid, he knew that he was looking into the face of another intelligent species like a human being. Footage captured by an additional camera more clearly reveals the body and face of the creature, and it appears to have large black eyes and a small mouth. In Icelandic culture, the mermaid sits on a rock, lures sailors in with her song, and then quickly disappears forever into the water with the men in her embrace. It's depicted in art all throughout the country. Number 10. Unidentified Catch Some revere this next video as being the most solid evidence that mermaids exist. It captured fishermen reeling one of their nets up to the boat. However, they apparently caught more than they were bargaining for. A webbed hand can be seen reaching out of it. The hand looks like the one that was pushed up against the submarine in the last video. And if you listen closely, you can almost hear the mermaid growling. <laughs> Upon seeing it, some of the men on the boat gasp in shock and terror. Perhaps because of the bad weather, the fisherman's fear, the mermaid's strength, or a combination of the three. The net is then soon released back into the water. Number 11. John Smith John Smith, known for his fictitious romance with Pocahontas, may have also come into contact with a green-haired version of another Disney princess. Upon arriving in the West Indies in 1614, Smith apparently found a unique woman swimming offshore. He recounted that she was swimming with all possible grace near the shore. The upper part of her body resembled that of a woman. She had large eyes, rather too round, a finely shaped nose, a little too short, well-formed ears, rather too long, and her green hair imparted to her an original character by no means unattractive. From below the waist, the woman gave way to fish. However, it should be noted that many speculate that Smith never recorded this incident, as nothing about it has been found in his writings, but instead it's believed that a separate author may have concocted the tale much later. Number 12. Jenny Hanivers In the 1500s, these creatures appeared all over Antwerp, Belgium. They were so frequent, in fact, that sailors had a particular name for them, which means Youth of Antwerp in French. It's hypothesized that British sailors mispronounced this term as Jenny Hanivers. These figures, also known as devilfish, are the carcasses of a ray or a shark that have been modified and dried, resulting in the mummified specimens that are thought to resemble fictional creatures like demons, dragons, or mermaids. Some believe that they were the enemy of Christ. Others, commonly in Mexico, believe that they were helpful in religious rituals and were implemented by traditional shamans to heal the sick. Legends have it that while alive, Jenny Hanivers would approach tourists and sell souvenirs to them. The earliest known picture of one appeared in Conrad Gessner's Historia Animalium, Volume 4, in 1558. He would warn that they were merely disfigured rays and not miniature monsters. Some other writers have suggested that the sea monk was a Jenny Hanover. Number 13. Whales Did you know there was a mermaid queen of Wales? She appears scattered through references all throughout the country's lore, and after extensive research for his book, The Fairy Faith in Celtic Countries, Walter Evans Wentz 